excited. Do you guys see this? Oh. Well, maybe I should put this away. Hold on. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. I'm so very flat on oh, my eyes. A little bit scary. Hey, let's let's get it. Hey, let's get it. Today's video is super exciting because I'm finally giving you guys a closet tour. I've always talked about how much I hated the background of my videos ever since I moved, whenever I film in here, because it's just not what I was feeling. I wanted my closet to be something where I could see my clothes and touch them all the time. And I can finally say that I can do this. I still have a couple of ideas that I want to execute and if I do I'll just include them in vlogs in the future. But I'm really happy with how my closet turned out and it's a super budget friendly closet makeover. So I'm going to take you guys through the process of what I did and then show you guys the tour. But before we get into everything, as always, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as turn on the post notification bell. That way you never miss when I upload a new video. And feel free to follow me on my social media handles. Pretty much everywhere. That way you can see behind the scenes content and other glam and ratchet parts of my life. But other than that, we're just gonna get right into everything. And I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Okay, so this closet makeover was super fun to do but it was also budget friendly because there wasn't that much I had to change. As you can see I have a lot of storage already in my closet but it's uneven, it's not really organized or cohesive um, and it could just be paired together better and it's just making for more space for me to just jumble everything. It's kind of a cluster but I have the pieces that I need essentially to make this work. So the first thing I did was decide to change around my shelving units and so I'm clearing off these shelves near my wall. I basically did not change any of the heaviest items. I just changed the ones that were easier for me to move. So here I'm stacking my drawer sets that used to be near my front door. The door for my closet. I don't know why I said front door like it's a house but um these sets that were next to my door I stacked as well as the shoe shelves that were on the opposite wall because they're just about the same height. They're a little off but it's easy to hide something like that and I tried to figure out exactly how I wanted to space these drawers out as I was organizing. I ended up putting the drawers right next to each other. Also look at Chester he made his little debut. <laughs> Thanks Sam. But um I have them spaced out right here but I ended up pushing these drawers together and using the extra space for shoe storage which I'll show you guys in the tour but yeah I basically just reorganized the way in which my different storage units that were all affordable they're not expensive at all um, how these storage units were arranged in my room so the ones I'm messing with were from Michaels or from Walmart or Ikea nothing too expensive then for this shelf, my Notorious Shoe Shelf, I decided to make this into a beauty shelf so you guys will no longer see this, but I'm sure you've seen it enough because I've literally had this shelf for like three years um, organized the same exact way. So I'm taking my shoes off of it and I'm moving it to where I just moved the other shelves from, so right next to my door, to give me some inspo whenever I'm doing beauty looks now. And I'm really glad that I ended up making this move because I feel like it's probably the biggest change once I show you guys the tour in my closet. Again, for these, I'm just emptying things out, rearranging these shelves, and preparing them to be stacked, and also trying to think of how I can reorganize my closet without making it into a bigger deal than it is. So that was probably the hardest thing, honestly, trying to figure out where to put everything back. But these shelves, again, are from Walmart, super stackable, so I just stack them on this and it fit perfectly so I was really happy about it and I decided that I wanted to put my heels that I took off of my infamous shoes shelf from Ikea on here so after starting to decorate it I realized that heels cannot fit on these shelves so I actually took apart the shelves and removed two shelves from this unit in order to make my heels fit which I will show you guys right about now. Thank you. 
Okay, so after removing that, I decided to just start organizing my items. I didn't film everything that I did in my closet because I figured you'd see it in the tour. I didn't want to bore you guys, but this is the gist of what I was doing. So first I went ahead and went back to all the shelving units in my room and tried to decide exactly how I wanted to organize everything and display everything. So here I'm just showing you guys how I made room for my heels. I actually like these shelves better than the Ikea ones to be honest because they're a little wider so I can fit more pairs of shoes on less space. So I actually thought that this was a blessing in disguise almost. And again, these are from Walmart so they were super affordable. And then after doing that, I went through my drawers and I just refolded and organized everything. And the last thing to really finish off this closet was getting the clothing racks together. So I ordered these two clothing racks from Ikea. They're awesome because you can hang long items, but you also have a tiered shelf so that way you can hang more. And shout out to Sam, the best boyfriend in the world. He put these together while I was organizing everything else. So here you can see I'm starting to actually showcase my clothes and putting them on and this was like the finishing touch i did remove some items from my closet after this like that ring light that you guys see awkwardly in the corner to organize it but after finishing this my closet was done all right guys so i just took you through the basics of what i did to transform my closet on a budget so now it's time to show you guys and i'll try and remember to mention anything i didn't mention in the voiceover before as far as things that i've gotten and where and whatnot Alrighty, so here's an overview of the closet. So starting off when you walk in, I've now replaced the shelving that I had here with my Notorious shoe shelf, which is now not a shoe shelf anymore. This bookcase is like 30 or $40 from Ikea. I got it like two or three years ago. Um, it's super popular for a lot of people using it for their closets, so I definitely recommend. It's called the Billy Bookcase. So on it, I just have a hat, and then I dedicated this to more of like a beauty, just girly vibe aesthetic so I still have my lipsticks that were on this thing before I put my little K light up here I have beauty blenders in this a watch um, more lipsticks and then my vintage cosmetics brush here I just have kind of decor I have my sunglasses I never wear and two blue light glasses some mask I literally just threw back there because it's kind of like a pretty mess I have my actual prescription glasses this covergirl box that was sent to me in my first PR ever from them I have a coupon just so I don't forget to use it my eyelash curler lip injection box and then I have the pumpkin spice palette which I just filmed a tutorial for so you guys will be seeing that soon and this picture of Sam and I. Then on this shelf, I just have all of my perfumes. They used to be on this space of my closet. Now they're here. And I put the lip injection actual product here, as well as my CC earrings ring, and my favorite pair of earrings that I think I got this from TJ Maxx, to be honest. And then over here, it's kind of random. I have my brush cleaner that my mom got me. Extra brushes, some lashes, a disco kitten that I just bought, so it's a spare one. I have this Pandora bag, and in it, I just have random stuff. <laughs> I have my philosophy dry shampoo and then brush cleaning liquid in the back here, just hiding. And then over here, this is probably like the least aesthetic but still kind of aesthetic box. I have these, which I actually did get from Home Goods to put on my drawers, but I have to drill holes in them, so I don't know when I'm gonna do this, but they're staying here for now. Random stuff in this bin, and then I have magazines and my iPhone case because. I didn't realize I still have an extra charger and headphones in there, so I'm glad. And this does not belong here, I actually just moved it off my vanity, but this is a cute little vote pin from Kitsch, they just sent it to me, and I'm definitely going to be sporting this because it's important. And next to that shelf, I have my vanity. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I did get contact paper from Amazon to cover up the top. This vanity is a tabletop and two legs from Ikea, as well as the Alex drawers. Um, the tabletop was glossy and white from the longest time, but it got worn down as I used it, so that's why I covered it with marble contact paper. I think I might get a different paper, though, and make it, like, pink so that it's not everything is white in here, but whatever. These lashes are just here because I have to clean them. And then I have my acrylic everyday makeup case here. This is from Home Goods as well. I have this Impressions Vanity Mirror. Shout out to Too Faced for sending it to your girl. I have my actual vanity mirror, which I DIY'd. So, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above because it saves you tons of money. And then I just have my regular makeup stuff I use on the daily. This hasn't really changed. And my stool is also from Ikea for like $15. So then over here, I kept these drawers over here because they were the heaviest. I was not trying to move them. And they haven't really changed much. But on the top, 
I put my now filming sign here, which used to be behind me. I have my camera stuff that I kind of just sit here. And then this little vintage looking tiered tray my mom got me from Avon a long time ago as well. So I just put hair clips and hair stuff here. I have more hair clips for when I'm actually trying to hold curls in after I curl. So I don't use these that often. Um, I have a keep calm and sparkle sign back there, my Tiffany blue box, and my CoverGirl bunny. And then I just have my drawers. I'm not going to go into super specifics and like show you every piece of clothing I have, but these are all my pajama and lounge tops that have a matching bottom to them, like they came in a set. So these are the bottoms. And then this is, um, what is this? Oh, these are, uh, what, is, what is it called? Nightgown. Here is my wig drawer. So I have wigs and my ponies in here. And then this is my random other hair stuff drawer. So I just kind of threw random things in here. This is my really random drawer of extra beauty products. This I keep on handy. This is my oldest makeup eraser. It's really stained because I actually use it to clean up makeup mishaps or like messes not on my face, especially when it comes to black eyeshadow. Um, so it's more of like a cleaning cloth, but it still works fine. I have a bunch of extra stuff in here. And then here I just have some of my like cuter t-shirts that are like more aesthetically pleasing that I like to wear to lounge. My shorts for pajamas and my pajama pants, which I've been wearing a lot, so most of them are in the laundry. I then have this thing, which I think I've showed you guys before. It's just a charger holder, but it's shaped like lipstick. I think it's super cute. So then these drawers I actually moved from where this shelf is. They used to be stacked on top of each other. So I put them here and then I put my one of my shoe shelves here on top of this and it wasn't the exact same length. Also, sorry, this drawer is wonky. So I'll tell you what I did on that side. But on top of it, I put my feather boas. I finally used them again for my old room. So I put a white one here. Too Faced sent me this tote bag, which is super cute. So I'm definitely using it as decor now. And then I just lined up my my bags. I'm not a bag girl, so I don't have that many, um, but I thought this was cute this way, so I did that. And then these drawers just have like underwear and socks and stuff on both ends. Like I think these are bras and undies, and these are like socks, stockings, other stuff like that. Um, and then in between, I just put my sandals, my flats, and some sneakers here. These drawers are from Ikea. Oh, I guess I should mention, these are all from Ikea, but the ones that have this U shape, I actually got from Michaels. They're like an Ikea dupe. These drawers I got from Ikea, so I just keep all of my tank tops and t-shirts here that aren't like fancy or blouses or anything that I can fold. I have my warm colored sweaters here, and then my cool colored sweaters here and then I have this is the message drawer I have because I really did not fold anything these are just random t-shirts from like my job from my schools I went to from any plays I used to be a part of like just the random t-shirts everyone has that you accrue over time I just keep them all in here and then these are all of my cream colored and like neutral colored sweaters and then this drawer that's wonky is my denim drawer so I keep all my pants my denim shorts and my denim jeans in here but the drawer doesn't like to stay so it's always gonna look a little wonky but it's perfect you know so since I had extra space I actually just put my tall boots over here and then I have this light that is a really cool brightness changing light that I got from Amazon sorry guys I'm out of breath because I'm talking to you guys so much about this so let's get on to my clothing racks again I ordered both of these from Amazon they're about $40 each and I'm in love I honestly don't know the weight requirement for these because it didn't say it on the Amazon listing so I was kind of nervous but I feel confident in them that I, they're not going to fall despite the clothes I have on them, even if I move them with the clothes. So yeah, it's awesome. These racks are white. I think they also do come in black. They're of metal material. And I just thought that they looked the least crazy looking or like too bulky. So that's why I like them. Plus they have this thing where it's optional, but you can put the tiers so that you can hang longer things and then you have a second tier so it saves you space. So that's why I like them and I'll definitely link these. The hangers I also get from Amazon. These are just black with rose gold, like actual hanger things. What do you call that? Hooks. Oh, and this scrunchie is by Kitsch. They sent this to me too. It is a scrunchie that's supposed to help absorb water in your hair when you wash it or when you're at the beach so that your hair dries faster. And I love it. And I need to hang dry it. You're not really supposed to put it in the dryer, so I just put it there. Again, not going specifically through all my clothing, but basically I just put all of my neutral colored clothing on this one rack and I just went from black to white and I have the tops here, the heavier like outerwear, coats, cardigans here, and then 
one pieces and dresses and things here and I thought it was just really nice and I have my Victoria's Secret slippers here and then down here I have random stuff these two items are for an upcoming Glamoween video so I'm not gonna tell you what they are these are more hangers I actually found from home goods but they didn't have black ones but I really wanted to stick with the rose gold so I got the gray ones I don't know exactly how I'm gonna organize the gray ones into the rest of my closet so it makes sense but I'll figure it out and then these are just my sparkly loafers I love for the fall so I just kept them there and then this is organized the same way where it's tops heavier things and then my dresses and one pieces and rompers but this is all my colored items and then I have this one little bin over here that has workout stuff so it's random so I kept it there and my idea with this was to originally put this across my wall but it's actually not the length of my wall so I'm glad that I got these rolling support clothing racks because the whole thing is I wanted to be able to have an aesthetically pleasing background even if I needed to have it blank so I'm glad I didn't put the pink up because I might need a neutral background every now and then for videos so whenever I want to use that wall I'll just roll these out of the way and then use the wall and that way I don't have to worry about paying for hooking everything up damaging my apartment walls or having to pay for wallpaper or anything because I can change it up however I need it. This closet just has my lights and stuff that used to be out, so now all my filming supplies is in there. And then this wall is the final wall. Here I just put my remaining shoe shelves and the shoes that you guys normally see, my heels and boots. I put my clock here, these are just earmuffs, and then I have these bags up here, kind of at storage honestly, but also for aesthetic, and my Uggs. And then the rest of these drawers didn't change much. I just folded and organized the clothes. So these are all my sweatpants and leggings. And here I have skirts and shorts. Here I have all of my pants. And then here I have all of my workout clothes. And to finish off, I got this mirror from Amazon. It holds my jewelry behind the actual mirror part, which is cool and very convenient. And then this sign I had for a while that I got from HomeGoods. And my little motion sensor trash can is right in the corner. So yeah guys, that completes my closet tour. I'm gonna speed up this outro because my camera is giving me a notification that is overheating, so it might turn off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know anything as far as like home decor sites or other places I should check out to decorate my closet and my apartment beyond. I'm really excited that I can finally share this with you guys and I just, feel better in this space when I'm creating content now because I just feel like it's a little bit more glam. It's not exactly like a perfect closet for me, but it's getting there and I love it and I'm really proud of myself for doing it. So here we go. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support and with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.